right, it's time to begin the papers now. Let's take a look at the headlines, what the headlines are saying across papers in Nigeria. We have uh, leadership and communication strategist, uh, Dr. John, one of our regulars in the house That's this all. morning. Dr. Good, good morning. Good morning, Mike. Good, good nice morning, Gozi. Good, good to see you. Thank you. And yeah. of course, uh, just like you said, what the papers are saying, and the papers really are saying a They're lot. saying a lot. Good morning. I'm telling you. Uh, we begin yeah. with a punch. Uh, helicopter crash. AIB sends investigators uh, to site. Oshibajo says, God, Adeboye's prayers delivered him. And we we're lucky helicopter didn't burst into flames. That's uh, Femi Ujudu uh, saying there. Um, a lot of people have been asking all manner of questions. Yes. Uh, as well as, you know, thank uh, goodness that uh, our vice president, that Nigeria has been spared. Mm. Yeah. A very big tragedy. A very big, a big one. tragedy. Uh, that you understand. Um, you, you, you see, we cannot uh, but thank God for what has happened. Again, it also exposed a part of force that uh, uh, partisan politics has been able to to create. And as a father, partisan politics has been able to divide us more than democratic democracy has been able to unite us. Because you still discover, especially on the social media, that some people were, I don't want to use the word jubilating, that uh, they, 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 were, they were angry that it didn't turn to, the, to a disaster. And you, you continue Are we to, losing our humanity uh, because you of politics? To, uh, that, that's, that's what's playing out. Because the, the, the way people responded, I, I felt that the first thing that should come to any sane mind is for you to thank God that God actually averted this crisis. Then secondly, I, I think we a begin lot more to people ask questions. Than yes, than a lot more people, than 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 yeah, including than even the former that. governor of Ekiti State, mm. who was placed an advert for the sitting president, he came out to say, oh, we thank God that uh, mm. uh, this disaster was averted. Yes. So I think we need to work on our humanity, and I don't want the issue of partisan politics to actually sure. take that away. Yes, right. indeed. Uh, the uh, top column there, Afeni Ferry uh Northern Elders Forum, Pandev, others adopt Atiku as consensus candidate. Well, you might want to say... Uh, <laughs> what do the, we say to this thing? Yes, the, the <laughs> question yesterday when it happened was a number of people <laughs> were trying to find out what the effect would be on the polity, really. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I jokingly said it's going to have an effect on the politics of that uh, of 2019, that we like it or not. But it is the same effect of um, political crowd. And this is how it plays out. Now, Afeni Ferry, this has endorsed uh, article. And the message will be, oh, Afeni Ferry don't endorse article. Maybe the man go win, no, I will vote for him. That is the same thing a man who sees crowd in the polit in the um, campaign will say, ah, you don't see that crowd for that campaign. Mm. Or oh, be like, see that man go win, no, I go vote for him. It, doesn't it does not necessarily mean that Afeni Ferry will control the entire Yoruba people. Mm. In fact, it does not have the capacity. Or any other social cultural group or for that matter. matter. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Obviously, it, it, is there... Uh, a sense that the average Nigerian voter really does not even know why he goes to the ballot in the first place. That he feels, if I vote for this person that I actually believe in, that the vote might be wasted because yes. he doesn't seem, you know, he's not the popular uh, candidate. Yes. Uh, that, that, maybe that, that, Nigerians need to be educated that, look, you put your vote where your mouth is. Yes. Is that has been the mindset over yeah. time. And again, one thing that is not also helping us is the issue of poverty. Yeah. It's, go it's going to be very easy for you and I to sit down here and continue to say people should not set their vote, for example. Mm -hmm. But a man who earns 12,000 Naira and goes to, to cast his ballot and is readily seeing 5,000 Naira that somebody is offering mm -hmm. him to vote for That's his own That, that he may not party. see in, in, in two, three time. months. Yes. So there's no someone that you want to preach at that point in time. Mm. A majority of the voters All right. are okay. I think we Moving have to on. get to the reality. Amber Day will no longer be removed. That's according to Ashiwa uh, Jubola Ahmed Tinubu, the national leader of the party, who has um, you know stepped in uh, to bring about peace. Uh, elections will be influenced by people's free will, not money. That's the APC speaking there. Uh, one killed, several injured in uh, your APC PDP campaign rallies. One dies as NURTW chair escapes murder in Lagos as a road uh, National Union of Road Transport Workers. Uh, Falano writes AGF asks FG to withdraw case against Onorgan. All right. All right, let's move to the nation newspaper now. That's the next one. Uh, Oshibajo, we can't thank God enough for our lives. Buhari hails vice president's loyalty and Ojudu relieves a crash in uh, Kogi. Uh, God shamed the, the devil. devil. Mm -hmm. And you see the, the picture there where the vice president was given, went to church to give thanks on Sunday. 
alongside the uh, Minister of State for Labour and Productivity, Professor Stephen Ocheni, uh, thanking God for uh, saving or for sparing his life. I don't know whether you, we can just quickly talk about the issue of loyalty. Mm. I think uh, in the, uh, since 1999, this is the first time we'll be having uh, such a relationship between uh, the president and the vice president into almost the end of their first tenure. You know what happened between Obasanjo and, um, uh, and Atiku between mm. 1999 and 2003. Before 2003, everything has already fallen apart. Mm. And even between um, Yaradu and Jonathan, mm. there was, if you, if you read um, one of the books released by um, Adini, there was a particular incident where the wife of the former president was complaining that, oh, they've reduced her, her husband to reading newspaper. So that has <laughs> always been the game. But this is what we said at the beginning of this tenure that if they had listened to us, we had suggested to the government that release the issue of economy to the vice mm. president and let him totally handle it. We, we are mad. It. Well, yeah. that, that, that's, 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 that's thank God that there's the trust books, and relationship. By now. the books, that's how it happens. Uh, even right from 1999, it's always been the that vast, way. But, yeah. but however, he still remains the assistant, uh, so whatever he does is at the discretion of the president. Yeah. I need to collate election results manually. Okay, uh, as far as the law is concerned, the, the, there's no transmission of results by electronic means yet, so yeah. it still has to remain that way. And APC cries fraud as a Fanny Ferry or Haneze Middle Belt Forum, NEF, uh, Pandev, and Doors Atiku. Well, it's political time, so. APC leaders resolve Ambode lawmakers rift and 12 die in Ogun crash commercial bus accident and uh, intervention for tertiary institutions hits over 700 billion in four, in four years. years. Mm. Um, now um, let's talk about the intervention because intervention will not be complete if we do not solve the issue of um, ASU going in and out of um, university, they go on strike today, tomorrow they resume mm -hmm. and order. Mm. If we had um, if we had, had um, a very serious mid middle class in Nigeria when it comes to election, I doubt whether our government would be misbehaving the way it's misbehaving with ASU. If we know that these people have the chunk of vote, but because well, they do not, uh, we can't afford not, to take them for granted. To, because mm. we are going towards election. Mm. But because we know that many of us who even come on air to shout don't even have voters' card. Many of lecturers <laughs> in the institution. <laughs> you can say the that student, again. Yes. <laughs> you the, need to underscore yes, that point. The students <laughs> who are above 18 don't see reason why they have to have because they want to escape from Nigeria at all costs. So mm. they don't want to know whether the one government comes to power or not. And until we start from, it shows that the fact that politicians still embark on serious campaign. So it shows that the average power still belongs to the people of Nigeria. But yeah. we, we, we are not using this power. It's only the market women here and there who we gather. And, 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 and who and, be told, and decide. line up behind yes. this candidate. Yes, and exactly. That's it. At the end and of the day. It. Okay. Army right. redeploys senior officers and London court finds Nigeria $8.9 billion and Joshua mm -hmm. to fight a Miller in June. And Senator J.K.N. Waku dies at 70 in mm. Chicago, United States, that's a really sad one. Yeah. He was uh, hospitalized for a, a little while yeah, yeah. before his death. Senator Waku. Uh, to the vanguard, North, Southwest, North, uh, Niger Delta, Middle Belt Elders adopt Atiku as Northern Elders Forum, Afeni Ferry, Ohaneza Pandef, Middle Belt Forum meet in Abuja. Say Buhari has stirred Nigeria towards insecurity, deep division, anarchy, and so uh, many other uh, things there that they've raised. Uh, my transactions with Tinubu by Tambuao. Uh, Nigeria not working, but um, <laughs> speaking there. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a product of many art and inactions, and um, it's beyond <coughs> this present government. Every contrib contribution has been, since 1960, we've been having one contribution from one person or group or the other that, at the end of the day, is actually giving us the result we are having today. So it's going to be unfair to think that Nigeria is not working because Buhari is the president. Oh, no, mm -hmm. It's a contribution exactly. of exactly. many factors. A anyone and, who knows this people. country very well knows yeah. that the, the challenges we have in Nigeria today is not just a product of the present administration or just the immediate past or just mm. the immediate past. Yeah. Or just, had been done or just this time. republic. Yeah. You know, it's not just this republic. Because when you're talking about foundational issues, the, 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 the structure of Nigeria is part of the challenges that we have. The uh, 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 process 
in doing things is part of the challenges we have. Then the norm yeah. of doing things the, is the, part the, of the, the challenges we have. Which we have built over and the time. values. Exactly. And uh, the values. values. That's, values. that's what I'm yes. calling the norm. Yeah. Yeah. And this has been there since the 70s, since the 80s. So it's a product of the omission and commission yes. of, of leaders one way or the other. So, you, you, so until we get it right, yeah, as exactly. far as the values Yes, mm, and the, the getting, getting right really will be gradual. And the, that's why I, I feel like government needs to define where to invest our getting right process from. You, you understand? You don't just wake up and get it right. You need to start from a generation of Someone people. has to inspire yeah, that. Inspire, inspire mm. that to exactly. happen. That's what leadership you does. To, you continue to invest mm. in it over time. Like uh, somebody was complaining to me that um, uh, the Yahoo guys, for example, are no longer stealing on this. They go from Babin. <laughs> Uh, saloon and, and they are still in this thing. Oh and I said, my. it is. It didn't start yesterday. It's a product of the breakdown of our moral system that has happened over time. Mm. So the only thing, because the only thing that gives you value in Nigeria is money. Mm. If so, I know um, that as a driver, for example, that people are going to respect me for my job, I mm -hmm. want to do my job, job diligently. But once I know that money has become our mission, I greet our God, I want to do everything possible to ensure yeah, that... Get the so money. What, would it, get uh, money what would it take for Nigeria to actually come full circle and understand that, okay, now we need to begin again, lay the kind of foundation that will be firm and strong enough so that whatever you build on it will actually stand? Yes. Because we all seem to be, you know, just be talking from, you know, different sides. Yeah, Nigeria is corrupt, Nigeria is this, Nigeria is mm -hmm. that. But what are we doing? Are we laying the right foundation? Where will it start from? It starts from us, really, and now. And that's the principle of self-leadership. The, the, people, the, the, the people in authority need to actually open our eyes to the reality that mm. no matter where you are, mm. you are a leader. And there's what they call language of leadership. And not dealers. Yes, okay. language Let's move of on. leadership. <laughs> Let's move on very quickly. Leaders, because, not dealers. Yes, all leaders, right. not dealers. Uh, what else do we have here? Of course, there's a picture story there that says it all. We have the Ashiwaju uh, of... Uh, not just the Yoruba land, Ashwaju of Nigeria, if you like, <laughs> the Jagaban Bogu, uh, right there, who has stepped in to make peace. There's uh, Ambode on uh, his uh, uh, left. There's uh, Mudashiro Obasa. Mm -hmm. There is the incoming, the next no, governor the, the, of... No, the, the candidate. The, the candidate of the, the APC. candidate is the candidate no, was, of the APC. I was going to say the, not the, next the hopeful governor. incoming. Uh, if there's any just the candidate. candidate. <laughs> and, there so is, that. and there is the man referred to as Peperito mm. there. Hopefully we can move forward from this. Yes, this this move. All right, is, is, uh, we is have to go one. very quickly. Okay. CCT trial anxiety over threat to issue bench warrant on Onoge, and CCT boss Umar has no pending criminal charge. That's the Attorney General of the Federation, Abaka Malami, saying there. Uh, Buhari's government marked two. Okay, that's it. Okay, uh, this day is my last paper this morning now. Northern uh, Northern and Niger Delta elders, or Haneze, Afaniferi, others in Doza Tiku, say younger candidates also capable to rule but lack machinery to win. Mm. Gang up against Buhari will fail, says Presidency, and APC is saying it's fraudulent. Okay. Okay. They lack the machinery. They to lack win. the machinery to win. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, how, so how, how, how does would it you render the whole? Not too young to run bill that's you, you know when the president was signing the not too young to run, he yeah. actually jokingly told um, the, the the assembly of the young people that mm. come on, you guys need need to come down to twenty twenty three mm. if, yeah. if you remember. Mm -hmm. But 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 again when you're talking about Nigeria is a very complex nation, really. Mm. So for any young person to come out and say that um, he wants to win the presidency. There's a lot of things that are involved. Mm -hmm. But again, if we, if the older generation believes in the power of the younger generation, mm -hmm. they can help the people like us to build the machinery that is needed to win election. Mm -hmm. But you will not be talking that you want your son to take over your company and you still want to remain the chairman. But so I, that you can I think on the other hand, the young people are not uh, galvanizing all the weapons weapons in the context of the tools they, they need, need to get first because and the issue they there actually is have, they, they don't they, recognize exactly they, they have, have and they don't recognize because the issue there is if you're talking about technology if you're talking about uh, social media if, if you're, you're talking about if population you're talk, if you're talking about population mm -hmm. yeah. if you're talking about energy, energy all of the that drive. the young people have mm -hmm. but are they coming together to work in unison yeah. is one big thing well, well, so the are, issue there is they don't really need the permission of the older generation yeah, to win yeah. but they are not realizing 
the power within their disposal. You, you, you if, if the young people can actually imbibe the spirit of those who fought for Nigeria's independence, recall the Nandi Aziki was there, mm -hmm. Wola was exactly. Mr. Fabale was well, there. They were all young, yeah. they were all young yeah. and exactly. they decided with one voice and, and one spirit to say, look, we, this is mm. what we want to do and we're going to go and for Anyway, it. I, 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 an analyst will say because they saw a common enemy at that time, so they worked together. But in real terms, when you come to the to the um, uh, to the details we have of how of, of how they were working enemies. together, it tells you that they were actually not together in that in that sense. I, I yeah. think uh, things are right. getting better, really, because now we have the passion. Mm. We uh, we have the passion. What what we are yet to understand is the politics, and mm. it is politics is about give and take. Sometimes mm. you just say, "Oh, I'm stepping down for this person." That's the only thing. And people like us are trying to educate the people that apart, beyond the passion. We need the politics too, and the, the, poli the politics of ability to say, oh, it is not about me. At the end of the day, it's about the society. Mm -hmm. And you can see it play out even within um, the few um, mm -hmm. last weeks that some of them are saying, oh, we are now ready to step down. So yeah. it's beyond the activism. Yeah, it's but, but, about but the, the tactic power. also matters on yeah. how to deliver that, that, uh, uh, you know, that idea. Because if you're talking about the issue of some agreeing to step down, some of these tactics would have been done before now because yes. the timing also matters. Yes, of course. Mm. That, that's you know. what we'll continue to learn as yeah. young people. But it's good young people are coming out now. Uh, they have, they, they would certainly have gathered some experience. People. But it's good young people are coming out now. Uh, they have, they, they would certainly have gathered some experiences which they will, they will leverage on yeah, yeah. in the next matter. campaign. So experience yeah. matters. It goes a long way. Mm -hmm. APC targets Northwest, Southwest for bulk vote. Votes. Okay. Uh, I make foreigners not prohibited from political campaigns. That this is a fault. This is coming out mm. of uh, two governors from Nigeria sure. Republic mm. that came to support uh, uh, President uh, Buhari. President Buhari in yeah. his campaigning canoe. Yeah. The the only question there is that did they enter Nigeria? through the right means? Do they have their uh, papers if they need be, They don't need a visa. Mm. They need a passport. Where their passports um, actually stamped Stand at the in. various border. Mm. And mm. Those are the simple questions. And if the answers are yes, then they have the right to exactly. attend to whatever they want to attend yeah. to. Well, when it comes to the law, the law didn't. Uh, the law is silent so beat, yes, as to yeah, whether foreigners can, can come to attend involving campaigns. Party. The only thing the law states is that they cannot. They cannot. They cannot vote, vote and be voted, voted for. for. But yes. they can observe, can't? Yeah, they? they can observe. They can campaign. If you want to bring your friends from Kenya or your friends from China to to campaign to for you, why not? Why you not? can do all of that. So. Maybe we'll, maybe it's a new is a new uh, it's going to be a new wave in the coming days where we're going to see young people from America, young people from China, and young people from Italy. And maybe, maybe it's also going to it's also going to open our eyes to some realities yeah. in, our, in our books. Mm. Maybe there's a need for us to also adjust one or two things because if we have a leader, for example, okay. come from another uh, um, another nation to come attend a political party, there's a possibility mm. that I will bring one or two other or three other people to attend with him. Yeah. And that's going to sway the crowd in the political rally in as the, well. Exactly. So these are some of the things and, that we're and, continue and to And on the at. other hand, if the if 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 politicians see it as uh, as giving an edge to someone, they might go to the National Assembly to say, you know what, we need to make this law to prohibit people foreigners from campaigning. Yes. So it's, it's, it's All right, it's a so that, of course, will depend on situation. if we can actually prove that, you know, they are, they are supporting or they are being around to in, observe any campaign, mm. you know, gives any or kind of advantage. Or even outrightly support and campaign Any undue for. advantage to the... Mm. All right, we have to go. We've been told, they've been shouting us. You've got to go. All right, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Ojong, for joining thank us you. this morning. Thank you.